Good morning Reefers, I'm Daniel and today we are cleaning out the sumps and pretty much just doing around all maintenance on the fish tanks, checking the filters, checking the pumps, making sure everything's working, um, heaters, checking electrical outlets, looking for wet spots, something that we would miss trying to stop a problem before it becomes a huge problem. So the bottom of here you can see a ton of detritus. And it's just tons of like fish poop, food, broken down matter, corals, uh, expel waste, all kinds of stuff. So there's just tons of detritus in the bottom. So what I do is I normally have a 35 gallon bucket that I will drain and that's my saltwater change um, right there. So I found this cute little bucket over here, which makes it, anyone else get excited when you find a cool bucket, a little mini brute. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to take this hose right here and I'm going to clean this out. So what you want to do is you want to take the hose, you want to wind it up in the bottom of the, the bucket. So since I only have one hand since I'm pulling a camera, um, I'll have to do this one hand. But you can see how I'm putting it in the bottom like that. That way the gravity will do a good job when it um, sucks it out. So since we are going on the bottom, this tank's pretty full. I have a lot of water in here. So I shouldn't have a problem, but I can't start to siphon with the camera. So give me one second, I'll be right back. It's cool, you can see the shrimp down there already cleaning up. Just sucking up playing with that detritus. So he's gonna be pissed when I um, move this. I'm just, uh, oop. I did not like that one bit. Yeah, I'm gonna make a special 3D printed. Um, hose top for this so it has a little filter shovel it'll just clip on the half inch hose um, it'll have a screen so this doesn't happen since this is a small hose and we're low to the ground there's really not much gravity suction pressure so you know it barely barely flows through this hose um, anyway it's so hard to do this with holding the camera just thought I'd show you guys um, you know in case you never thought of this it's very simple idea to suck out the detritus this way so and a lot of people some are probably up on a stand or something so mine I put it on the floor so I can maximize space um, but you know so I'm gonna finish cleaning this out I need both hands to do this I just wanted to show you guys um, you know an easy way to do it so See, it's going all that nasty stuff in the bottom, but um, This is what the water looks like at the moment. Um, I just completely cleaned out that sump. I siphoned out everything I could for the time being. I'm actually thinking about making that my um, acro tank down there just because the light is strong enough. Um, and the acros will probably do better there than they would here where it's more for favias, mushrooms, acans. So anyway, so I'm glad to have that cleaned out. Um, I have so many refugiums. I really don't need that one. So anyway, so my thing is I'm going to take this water, I'm going to let it settle. It's pretty flippin' nasty, so I don't want to drain all that nastiness. So I'm just going to push this under here for now, let it sit for about an hour or two, and then I'll drain that out, and then it'll be so much easier to siphon the shit in the water. Um, so 
So there you go. So now I have my fresh made water over here. I know the lid says dirty, but don't mind that. <laughs> uh, I just got to switch around. But I'm gonna take my salt water and refill the tank, turn it back on, and then I'm gonna show you guys these corals that just came in. I gotta show you the color on that red planet. It's absolutely amazing. So I will put the filter on for that, but I'll do that in a minute, guys. All right? All right, so you can see I have a hose for everything. All I did was take off my mixing top, which is just when I'm mixing salt, it blows the current around in a cyclone, so it stirs really nicely. Um, and then I just put that PVC pipe on the fitting, I just pull it out and swap it out, and that's connected to the hose. So, uh, this hose right here is then connected to that pump right there, which I have on Velcro. So when I'm not using this, I can take it down, but there's that. So now I'm gonna turn this back on. That's gonna ramp up, and then I'll go over here. Oops, turn this one back on. So the pump goes up and then it's in here. So, um, normally I'll put a hose clamp on the side to hold this, but since I'm just sitting here with the camera, I'm gonna hold it. So once this salt refills, and I always like to do my um, carbon and GFO on days I do water changes. This kind of makes them a little bit more efficient. But like I said earlier, I think I'm gonna take these reactors, and no normally I do one GFO and one carbon, but I think I'm gonna do them both. GFO, because um, my tank was pretty, just I messed it up. I, not messed it up, but I stirred up a lot of detritus. So I think I'll run the GFO uh, one extra for a day, and then I'll swap it out and put a carbon in later but at least I'll have one I can run it. Um, you know. So, everything is up and running, back to normal. This JBO pump does have a 10 minute timer, so it's kind of cool, you can just tap that button up there, and then you'll hear it gargling in about 10 minutes if you don't push it in time. So, or you don't get back to your water level. I have the float top off here. Um, I have my dosing lines just floating in there at the moment. Um, and then I have a current pump down here that kind of blows everything around. Helps with the dosing. So. There you guys go. As always, thanks for watching. Um, this is just, like I said, a quick update. I'm doing some maintenance stuff. I'll clean out the skimmers. I just cleaned out the screen here. That protects all the algae that breaks off from flowing into my pump and getting sucked up. You always want a chamber to kind of clean up and before the pump gets there. So, so yeah, if you're designing a sump, that's something you want to think about. Yep, I'm thinking of that, that nice Chinese light box that will do good for growing some acros. So I will actually put a rack in there and I'm gonna throw some acro frags in there and see how they do. Uh, with a couple fish, so everything's a little mini ecosystem, and you definitely want to make sure that it's balanced. Okay, I'm mixing up another batch of the HW Marine mix. Um, I have a couple things that I need to do, so I just wanted to show you guys. This is my ROGI tank. I have a nozzle there for a shut off, and I also have one up here just as a safety in case um, you don't ever want to drain this system but this is my 55 gallon RODI tank and that's run by these RODI filters over here so I have three of the DI tanks up top just to keep it you know always up on top of things don't want to ever forget um, and I'm trying to think whatever else yeah this is my routine I'm just doing some water changes Normally I'd have this thing running over here, but you know I just thought it'd be easier to match the water today because I fill it up to the line, I mix my salt, it's simple in the bucket. Um, of course I'm left in my bucket over here. So when I mix salt, I just put enough into that line and fill it up to there, and then that matches my enough salt to make specific gravity 1.0026 for my um, salinity. 
That's HW Marine Mix, a full synthetic salt. It's pretty much the best that I've ever tried. I stand by it. Um, a lot of people have problems with their salts, and that's why I don't cheapen. I go with one of the best salts you can. Um, it's, you know, full synthetic marine salt. But I also wanted to say, too, is I keep a hose for everything. This is my salt mix hose and my clean hose. And this thing over here is for the sump draining and all that stuff. Look at the color. I mean, this thing is nasty. And just to kind of show you, and I even have a tube on there, so I stick it in that thing when I drain that. So keeping your equipment separate and clean can also help phosphates add up. It's like a math problem. Um, nitrates, you know, you, if you remove stuff before it breaks down, if you don't have a balanced system, you want to remove it. That's why people say use filter socks, change them regularly, because it's just a simple way to keep up on your phosphates and nitrates. Um, you know, same thing with the refugium. You let it go out of hand, it starts dying, overgrowing itself, releases phosphates back in. So no matter what you do, it all comes down to maintenance and schedule and just taking care of your stuff. So, there you go. Now one of the nice things too about having a float mixed in with the, the tank uh, back here is that when I turn the pump on and I turn the water to gravity, it will actually fill itself up to the correct level and then shut off automatically. So here I have to watch it. If I um, don't pay attention, I can overflow this. But, yep. So I'm making salt on a Saturday.